Welcome to Wedding Wednesdays Live. Samara Tishban here, lead of product at Crate and Barrel. Love seeing you guys. Come on in. I've got a special guest tonight. I'll let her introduce herself. Hey everyone, I'm Sunifa Cruiser and I lead the kitchen team here at Crate and Barrel. So we are super excited. So this is our third Wedding Wednesdays Live and tonight we are here at our Northbrook store and we are, the music's down, we're in this empty space and we're gonna take you through registry essentials for all things coffee and morning routines. Really, really excited. I mean, so many of us are so passionate about this product type. I mean, I'm a crazy coffee drinker. I'm sure many of you are as well. And we're gonna talk through the fundamentals of how to think about how to register on your, uh, on your list, how to think about what you might need for your future home. And it's really going to be a fantastic time. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. So you guys have been so great participating, commenting. We've had really fantastic crowd. And so most of you are probably joining us from your homes, uh, maybe on the couch, but you've got your mobile device in front of you. And one of the things we just want to make sure is don't forget about our Crate and Barrel app. So it is an essential registry tool. We love it. You're going to love it. It really is just gonna take all of the management of your registry, it's gonna make it super simple for you. So think about things as far as adding items to your list quickly, paying attention and getting updates and alerts when items are purchased off of your registry. You wanna delete an item, modify the quantities, all super easy. And you can actually sign up for help and service. So think about leveraging it for signing up for um, personal one-on-one -on -one walkthroughs with our registry associates here in the stores. You can do it virtually. You can set an appointment to come to a one-on-one -on -one in the store. We're really here to be flexible for how you want to engage with us, and the app is the perfect tool in order to make that happen. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hand it over to Sinipa, who's going to walk us through um, our elements of what is drip coffee, give us an education about it. I mean, there's so much about coffee that I actually think about differently now that I wish I would have registered for. So Sunipa, you take it away and talk us through what do we have here? Absolutely. So coffee is a really complex category. I think some people feel that way and we're really here to demystify that for you. So what we have here is really all about drip, as Samara said. So there's a huge range of price points, range of features and brands. This guy right here is our Cuisinart Perfect Temp. That is a solid choice, is a wonderful value price point at about $100. And it is a oldie but a goodie. People love this machine and it's a really great choice. And the reason you would really want a drip coffee machine is if you like to brew a whole carafe at a time, you want to fill your coffee mug in the morning, you want to serve a bunch of people at once. And this machine will absolutely do that for you. If you want a few more bells and whistles, here's a step up here. This is also by Cuisinart. But this also has, so you have the carafe here, but then you also have somewhere you can put a Keurig K-cup. So if you want to just make one cup for yourself, you can do that. If you just want to get hot water for tea, you can do that too. But then you have the whole carafe. As you start to kind of move up through the functionality, you also move up in the beauty. This is so beautiful. This is exclusive to Crate. This is by the brand Ratio. This is cast metal, real walnut. It's made in the USA. And the cool thing is about this is, you know, if you've heard about pour over, this can make you a whole carafe of pour over. And really the benefit of that is it really brings out the flavor of the coffee in a much more um, aromatic way. And you're able to have kind of a full carafe at once. Taking that kind of to another brand is Mocha Master. If you guys are real coffee nerds, you probably have heard of this brand. It's made in the Netherlands. Um, and a, a lot of people say it's the best coffee, drip coffee maker out there. It is so pretty. It comes in a bunch of colors. Um, and we really love this guy. And then finally, one of the other ones we have featured here is within the brand Smeg. And this is really just a timeless, beautiful Italian design. Comes in a host of colors. We have the cream featured here. The same kind of idea. It's a drip coffee maker with a carafe that will keep it warm with a warming plate. And there you go with drip coffee. You know, I, I really love what you highlighted here. And I think an important thing for people to keep in mind is 
Think about where you want your coffee station to be in your future home. Do you want it out on the counter? Do you want the opportunity to put it away into a cabinet or have it in a pantry? I think part of what we're highlighting here, again, and a common theme for what we talk about on Wedding Wednesdays Live, is their style and choice and, and an, uh, a design property that definitely can be yours and to make your own in your future home. So kind of moving on to other types of coffee machines, um, espresso is kind of the next big category, but I wanted to highlight this machine here because it's kind of the best of both worlds. This is the DeLonghi coffee and espresso combi. And so you can brew, as I was saying, a pot of coffee in the carafe, but if you wanna make an espresso drink, if you wanna make a latte, anything like that, your favorite Starbucks drink, you can do that here. So here is the um, kind of all the bells and whistles that you need to make an espresso drink. So this is a great choice if you kind of wanna do one on one day and do one on another. But if you are hardcore espresso, this is the category for you. This is a tried and true. This is the Breville Barista Express. This is really for somebody who loves to get in there and control every single aspect of their espresso drink. You pull your own shots. It brews the, or excuse me, grinds the coffee beans right there. And then you can uh, froth your milk and make your espresso drink there as well. If you want that kind of functionality, but a little bit less space, this is a really good choice. This is the DeLonghi Dedica, and it's a really slim profile. So as Samara was saying, if you want to be able to put it away, or if you're in an apartment and you don't have a lot of space, it's a really good choice for you to be able to pull your own espresso shots. So one question that came through that I, I really wanted to answer here was from Daniela Yvette. And the question is, is there a big difference in using pot espresso machines versus regular espresso machines? Yes, <laughs> in short. Um, in terms of the quality of the coffee, actually though, I would say Nespresso has a really, really strong reputation in the quality and the taste of their coffee. The biggest difference is the control and the amount of time and effort that you want to put into it and how much you want to change up the elements of your coffee. If you are totally fine using an espresso pod and don't want to kind of mess with those pieces, this is an amazing choice. This is the Breville Nespresso Creatista Plus. So you put your capsule in here and it has a turn, a turn dial here and then it frosts the milk for you right here. I have one of these at home. I use it every single day and I absolutely love it. These are so beautiful. And I think what I really appreciate about some of these solutions um, not only from the espresso, the pod, but also DeLonghi really thinking through the space saving element by combining both the ability to have both drip and the ability to do espresso. You know, I'd say one important thing to keep in mind is as you move up in functionality, the price points do tend to move up, but don't let that scare you from adding these wonderful machines to your registry. You know, your guests, they want to buy you things. That's what they want to celebrate as you get closer to your big day. And one important thing is to consider leveraging our group gifting functionality that we have in our registry. So more than one family and friends, they can chip in and go in on some of these bigger machines together as a great gift for you. Why don't we take one more question? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, what accessories should I register for if I'm registering for an espresso machine? Well, it depends. It depends on what kind of espresso machine you have or you're getting. So if you went for something like this that has a grinder incorporated, you obviously wouldn't need to get a separate grinder. But many of our, our um, espresso machines and drip coffee makers do require that you have a, a grinder and we have an amazing assortment of grinders from Barazza to Bodum um, and other brands in between. The other piece I would say too is having just the perfect mug if you are really into lattes, you really want to have a mug with a wide bowl so you can do latte art and you can really get the nose of the coffee. Um, and here's a really good example. This is one of my favorites. The other thing I would say you really need are these just adorable spoons. This is called the mixed coffee spoon and it just goes perfectly and it really makes um, the whole experience just that much better. All right, so now let's get into these. These feel high end, so where are we going next? High end, yes they are. And I would say, as we start to get into this realm, this is really getting into the coffee shop quality of machine and coffee shop quality of drink. 
So um, first we're gonna start over here with um, these three Breville machines. So here we have, this is the Oracle, this is the Barista Touch, and then this is the Oracle Touch. And they all have kind of different functionality, but the one that we're gonna show you today with our friend here, Antoine, is the Oracle Touch. So we have um, a latte that he's already Let's made here. Finish our latte here, and we're gonna actually work on an Americano. So I, and, Antoine, we love that you're here with us. Uh, tell me why you like this machine for the at-home barista. For the at-home barista, it really makes specialty coffee drinks approachable. Um, it takes out the scariness of, oh, can I make a latte correctly? Am I going to have the right ratios? Breville did a great job of just removing all of that and automating a lot of functions in here. So you have access to your top eight specialty drinks. Fantastic. What's your drink of choice? My drink of choice is actually a latte. Okay. What I like about it is that it's quiet and yes. it looks to be working really, really fast. Very smooth. And all of the function and the pouring and the measuring is built into the touch screen? All built in. So once you select the drink that you are your preference, as I just did an Americano, it already calculates the ratios and pours out here. And as you can see, it does a great pour. You have a nice crema on top in a beautiful dark color. And for all you coffee aficionados out there, the great thing, especially about this machine, but I would say for most of our Bravo machines is that there's a level of customizability and changing up of control that if you don't feel like going through all of the motions, you can hit the button and it will make it for you. But if you want to pull your own shot and do froth the milk by hand, you can do that too. And it's, it's very easy to switch back and forth between the two. Now, if you don't ever want to pull your own shot or froth your own milk, but you want a really high quality espresso drink or a latte, this is for you. These are fully automatic machines. This one is by Jura, and then this one's by DeLonghi. And what I mean by fully automatic is you put a cup underneath, you push a button, pretend you pick latte macchiato, that's my drink of choice, and you walk okay. away, you come back, it's ground the beans, it's made the perfect espresso, it's frothed the milk, it's all together, and you go. These are amazing machines, and they really, really are worth the investment. That's great. Let's swap it up. We've got one question for Antoine, and that would be from at mercy underscore 12. Um, Antoine, what are some tips and tricks for frothing milk? So frothing milk really boils down to the texture. That's what makes the difference when you're doing a latte to a cappuccino or a cortado. Uh, so with the Breville, with, their, with the presets in there, all you have to do is tap, tap in which drink you're doing. It's going to bring it to the right temperature. It's going to froth it to the right texture. So you can uh, go ahead and pour your latte or your cappuccino. So good. So we have a really great question, which is about now you're building out and thinking about your home coffee bar. Let's talk about all the tools that are going to make you successful and things to just think about. These are all such easy ads to your registry and really just help round out, making sure you get all of the tools you need to get started successfully. So I talked about grinders a little bit. So Barazza is the gold standard in coffee grinders. These are both from Barazza. These are, is a brand that you would find in a coffee shop. And there aren't a lot of places that you can buy this, but Crate and Barrel is one of them. Um, if you want something maybe a little uh, less precise, but still a wonderful item, this Cuisinart is amazing. It, it is a Burr coffee mill, so it still has all of the functionality, but you're also able to pull out this piece and pour it directly into your machine. Now, you would really want something like one of these coffee grinders, again, as I said before, if you have a drip coffee maker or if you're using an espresso machine that doesn't have a built-in grinder. Frothing is another thing that some machines have built in and sometimes people want a cafe au lait, which is brewed coffee with frothed milk. And that's what these are right here. These are frothers. Here's one from Breville that this actually also makes hot chocolate. It's the most amazing hot chocolate you would ever have. But you could also do something a little bit um, smaller and more compact. This is the Bodum milk frother. It's a really value price point, about $15, and it whips up your milk in your cup. It's battery operated. It's a really awesome item. 
You can't forget about storing your coffee. This is um, from Airscape. This is an exclusive here at Crate and Barrel. And this sucks out all the air from the canister. So it keeps your coffee beans super, super fresh, which those of you who love coffee know that is very important. Here we have some other lovely accessories. We have a mug tree. That's a really nice way to round out your coffee bar. Um, and then I would also say we have a whole selection of mugs that we would recommend that you add on depending on the type of drink that you like to drink. That's such a great bridge because we did get a question in the comments about how do I think about mugs that come with my dinnerware set or should I register for mugs individually? And I gotta say, I'm a big believer, mugs are a personal thing. You know, some people like the form and feel of something skinny. I like a big chunky mug that's gonna hold a lot of coffee. And these are just great to have as extras. They don't have to, this is Stella. This goes with Stella, the dinner is sweet. But if I like to mix and match. I like to have a different suite of coffee mugs in my cabinet that I pull out at different times. And I like to have an assortment sometimes of body styles because some people like narrow, some people like large, but we sell them all individually and it's a great addition to your registry. We also have the glass cups that um, do very well, big oversized, simple. So again, this is really all about what meets your style, your design aesthetic. What do you like to have on your breakfast table in the morning to greet you? Lots of choice to, to cover. So we talked a lot about machines, but the, the trend these days, as I'm sure many of you know, is pour over. And we have everything you need to build your, the pour over section of your coffee bar. So here is a beautiful item that's actually new in our assortment. It is a pour over glass carafe with the filter and you can actually store your coffee beans or coffee mugs inside. But then we have a whole host of gooseneck kettles, which you also would need to do a perfect pour over as well as you can't forget your scale. You have to have the scale in order to get the absolute perfect amount of coffee and water for that perfect pour over. Cold brew is another trend that um, we don't see going anywhere. And these are two really amazing options be able to brew your own cold brew. It's actually way easier than anybody thinks it is. So definitely if you like cold brew, check these out. And then of course, French press is a tried and true. So French press, we have um, a couple of different finishes and sizes in French press. Um, definitely a good thing to have on hand, especially for guests um, when they come to your house for the weekend. Awesome. So, Wow, Sunipa, that's a lot, but I mean, super digestible as far as how to really just think about what do you like your morning routine to be? And that crate is a fantastic destination to make sure that you can look at the choice. You can come in, you can put your hands on these machines. And again, by using our appointment registry through our uh, registry website, set up an appointment time that works for you. Do you wanna do something virtually? Do you wanna come in and do something one-on-one? -on -one? We are here to have you walk through with any of our experts to make sure that you pick the perfect machine that's going to work for your future household. So we're going to continue with all things morning routine. And even if you love coffee, which yes, I do, um, we want to make sure sometimes you round out your coffee experience with all things tea. So Sunipa, give us a, a rundown of what we have here. Absolutely. So the first and foremost, most important thing for tea is to make sure you have the right kettle and the right kettle for the type of tea you like to drink. So um, if you're somebody who likes black tea, you bring your water up to a boil, these stovetop kettles are perfect and they're also a little bit of jewelry for your kitchen. They look really lovely on your stove. Um, but if you're somebody who likes green tea or white tea, it's really important to make sure that you brew that tea at the right temperature. If it's too hot, you're gonna burn the tea and it's gonna get kind of a weird taste. So. This is a wonderful option. This is exclusive at Cray. This is from the brand Fellow. And you can adjust the temperature to whatever temperature you want according to the type of tea. And it will hold it at that temperature until you're done with it and you turn it off. So it's a real, and it's so beautiful. It can sit out on your countertop um, all the time, even when you're not drinking tea. Of course, there's all the accoutrements that go along with a tea experience, you know, tea canisters, canisters for your honey, and then brewers, especially tea for one, um, that's a really good option, especially if you like to sometimes have tea, sometimes have coffee, you don't have to brew an entire pot. That's so, so good. 
And so when we think about all the other things, so it's Saturday morning, I don't know, maybe it's a Wednesday morning, but there are other rituals that you might want to incorporate. And I would say this is one of the number one lessons that I wished I would have done differently on my registry. And that is picking up machines that I didn't use at the time, but you know what? It would just been so nice to have them for in the future or when I was ready. So one that we're gonna highlight is the Vitamix blender. Um, Vitamix, an amazing, amazing um, blender. It does everything from making a beautiful smoothie to being able to blend down suits, uh, soups. It's just the, the function is unparalleled. Um, we're showing the black here, but it comes in a whole host of array of colors and also, you know, really can work into any type of aesthetic in your kitchen or if you want to put away in the pantry, but a, a really great juicer blender solution, we highly recommend. Then working our way over to the Breville Four Slice Smart Waffler. I should have gotten a waffler and I didn't because I thought I don't do waffles right now. I'm just, a, I'm single, they're in the house of one. And these are so fun for just making your mornings delightful. Um, it's amazing functionality, super easy to use, um, but just a really beautiful machine. And again, a nice way to round out your gift registry with products that your guests really do want to buy for you. And then also other solutions. So um, a combination. Sineva, take us through what we're calling the Blucer. What is that? Yeah, this, this guy right here is called the Breville Blucer. And what is blucing? I'm sure you're wondering. It's a combination of blending and juicing. And what is so innovative about this machine is it's two machines in one. So this base you can use with this juicer attachment on the top, and you can take the juicer attachment off and use the blender instead. So instead of buying two rather large machines, you have two in one. And if you really wanted to, you could juice directly into the blender so you could have freshly squeezed juice as part of your smoothie. It is so innovative and the functionality is unparalleled. Now, if you don't need um, a blending kind of capability, or if you really want cold juice, this Breville cold juice fountain is absolutely amazing. It doesn't heat up the juice. It's cold spin technology. So it keeps all of the vitamins inside your juice and really makes the experience a lot easier and simpler than maybe some of the other items out in the marketplace. So we highly recommend both of these items if you're into blending and juicing and smoothies. All right, so that's gonna bring us to the end of our show. Uh, first of all, thank you everybody for joining us. We love seeing you on Wednesday evenings for Wedding Registry Live. Uh, first, a few things, let's make sure, come back next Wednesday because we're gonna be talking all things baking so for you that like to cook and you've got a sweet tooth, we're gonna take you through our full assortment and the best registry ads to make sure that you're set up right. And then lastly, don't forget about virtual appointments. We went through a lot of technology and really wanna be here for you guys in the way in which is best for you. So virtually making an appointment to come in, we've got it, don't forget to download the app and we'll see you next week. Thanks everybody. Bye guys. Woohoo! Bye!